Not for me. Why not both? to Vlognarok. Today I am going to be doing the writer's not writing tag, which if anyone's been tracking my progress for NaNoWriMo so far is very appropriate for the current week that we're on. I can't remember who created this tag or where it originated, but I got the questions from Emily Oliveri. I will link her video down below. Her channel is also always linked down below. Um, and also from, I think Renee did it as well, at Vengeance Publishing. So, they'll both be linked down below. You can check their channels out and their tags out. And yeah, just gonna dive right in. Question one is, do you have a day job? Yes, I do. I currently work for a small online business company, uh, packing parcels and processing web orders. And I also manage the warehouse where the parcels are processed and the orders are processed. Um, however, in the next year or so, I would like to go full-time creative work. Uh, not novel writing creative work, but actually performing arts. I am a, I guess, musician and songwriter and cabaret performer now. But I have a long history in performing arts and I also do lighting design work as well, so all of the, the lights that I have played with today um, is me scratching the edge of not being able to get back in a theatre and do any lighting design in like two years. So yeah, those are my rough career, career plans. Question two is, are you a reader? Yes, I definitely am a reader. I've been reading as long as I can remember since I could learn to read been reading different things. There have been years of my life where I don't know how I would have survived without reading and escaping into various different novels. And even in recent years when I stopped reading for a while, um, I definitely noticed a, a dip in my mental, mental health. Um, generally around uni time when I didn't have as much time to read novels and recently when my attention span has been all over the place I have found audiobooks really fantastic for that as well. So I definitely read a lot, I listen to a lot of audiobooks and always have, I don't see that ever changing. Question three is what other hobbies do you have and oh boy there is a very long list and I've probably forgotten some of them however a brief summary of some of the others include painting, drawing, sewing, crocheting, knitting, pottery, saddlery and leatherwork, playing ukulele, collecting tea, singing and playing with light. Question four is tea or coffee? And to that I say, por que lo nos dos? Why not both? I have a very extensive tea collection, however I have a Melburnians level enthusiasm for coffee as well. Give me an iced coffee on a hot day, give me an iced tea even, give me a nice cup of jasmine or Yorkshire or Irish breakfast or lemongrass and I'll be very happy. Just anything. It's fucking good. As long as there's no sugar in it. I don't do the sugary teas and coffees. That, that's just not, not for me. Question five is, what are you passionate about? I am passionate about good coffee, kind people, music, light, possibilities, and hope. And also pirates. Love pirates. Pirates are great. Question six, do you have any pets? I do not currently, at my current place because of our lease not allowing for pets without landlord's permission. However, once I move back out to the countryside, which I am planning to do eventually, there is a very old cat that I can't really call mine. She more belongs to the farm than us, per se. We just feed her. 
and I would like to get either a dog or something else once I move back out there. Question seven, what was your dream job as a child slash when you were younger? I always kept changing my mind and wanted to be so many things, including a stunt performer, a pirate, an uh, acrobat, a professional horse rider or cross country rider, a cowboy, an actor, a costume designer or a character from Lord of the Rings. Question eight, if you could live anywhere else in the world, where would it be? I would like to live for a while in Ireland, Scotland, maybe Germany and New York. I would like to travel around the world to different places as well on tour, but those are the main places I've wanted to properly settle and live for a while. Question nine, do you speak any other foreign languages? Not fluently. I did learn German at school for very many years and I have since forgotten quite a lot of it. However, if I was to go to Germany for a while and live there, I feel like I would pick it up relatively quickly, having that background knowledge. And I can still remember bits, however, I'm not fluent at all anymore. Final question, question number 10. What music would we find in your collection? I, as my co-workers, have commented, have quite an eclectic taste, quite an expansive taste as well in music, and it often I will listen to stuff obsessively on repeat once I get into it for a while and then I'll pick up other stuff. But my collection includes the likes of Amanda Palmer, The Dresden Dolls, Panic at the Disco, My Chemical Romance, Fall Out Boy, Paramore, all the emo stuff, Imagine Dragons, movie soundtracks like Pirates of the Caribbean, Lord of the Rings, Hobbit, um, musical soundtracks like Wicked, My Fair Lady, Next to Normal, Rock of Ages, and then other artists like Bo Burnham, Tim Minchin, Lady Gaga, Pink, Pink, fucking love Pink. I also have individual playlists for every writing project that I do, which usually I don't really know what's on there in terms of who the artists are or what the song is called, because I just put Spotify on shuffle and then I save the good ones to the playlist, the ones that feel the most appropriate for whatever the project is. Sometimes it'll be character playlists, I usually have at least one playlist per project as well, that's just a generic one. And if anyone is interested, I will link some of those down below for Project Space and for Midsummer Night's Piracy, so you can have a listen and see, see what I listen to uh, for those projects, which I think is quite fun and definitely helps me a lot with my writing when I'm doing it, which at the moment, not really. I mean, I am, just not right now, obviously. So yeah, that has been the writer's not writing tag. Um, I can't remember who started it, but I'll link those channels that I mentioned before, Emily and Renee, down below. Hopefully you've been enjoying Vlognorok so far. It's been very fun. However, I am very exhausted, so I'm filming a couple of non-vlog videos this week and taking the week off vlogging. But yeah, I hope you're enjoying it so far. I hope you enjoyed this tag. If you would like to do it, I will leave the questions down below as well as those videos and feel free to give it a go and let us know your answers to these questions. Or you can just let us know the answers in the comments. Anyway, that is all for now. I hope you are having a good one wherever you are. Take it easy. And until next time, keep calm and chaos on. Bye.